to pick up a few things that he needs to work on the floor. I'm going to watch American Idol that I filmed or that I recorded last night. And then I don't know what we're going to do. He's going to work on the floor and I'm going to make fun of Megan some more. <laughs> and I don't know what else. So it's been slow going on the floor because I have that crumbling edge and I have to do something to fix that. And I don't want to take the whole edge off because that will take even more work. So I'm going to find some sort of um, was it two-part <laughs> adhesive to fill in the gaps and see if that's going to work. That corner doesn't really get stepped on, but still it has to be strong enough to, to do that. Uh, Megan is in bed with, um, just had her wisdom extracted, so she's, she's really down for the count. Brian's running around trying to get her her medication. Val is just relaxing right now watching TV and um, Sarah's cleaning the house which is pretty cool so I don't have to and hopefully if I get what I need done at Home Depot I can uh, continue working on the floor. Abby, people drilled into my face. Isn't that sad? Why do you have a towel over you? Because I tried to drink water and none of it went in my mouth. <laughs> do you want to try again? No. I just want to lay here. The bottom is so cute, Abby. So did they end up taking all four out? I assume. I don't even know. You look like a chipmunk. Do I? Is that because of the gauze? Mm-hmm. It's not swelling. No, it's because of the gauze. You got gauze stuffed in the sides of your mouth. Get your finger out of your mouth. It's like a, like one of the gauze pieces has like a thingy hanging off of it and it's tickling the back top of my mouth. Tickle, tickle. So here I am at the Home Depot looking for something to could hear that and I'm looking at this JB well it looks like probably the most promising thing it's a two-part um, epoxy so I'm gonna get this a concrete patching compound uh, to just to fill the edge so it's nice and sharp I'm gonna mess with some edging as well I picked up in the tile to see what I can do now I know this is not as thick as my tile so I'll have to mess around and see what I can get this is going to be stronger than the, what's there. I don't know how to drink because it just all falls out. You have to sit up a little bit. I did sit up and it didn't work. Because, <laughs> like, this is completely numb. So I could slap you in the face right now and you wouldn't feel it? Like, I can't even tell when my lips are closed. They're closed. They're open. They're closed. <laughs> They're open. <laughs> I mean, I can try and do this. We can use a, a dropper and squirt water into your mouth. Yeah, that might be helpful. <laughs> it might. So I got some uh, epoxy glue, some standard two part epoxy glue. I emptied the whole tube into this corner. Just want to let it settle in there. 
guarantee that that's going to to, uh, to do okay. And for the edges that are really rough, I'm going to use the uh, concrete fill. I'll be using concrete fill on the edge of this as well. And then I'll grind it down one more time. And um, that's when I'll start working on the the tiles themselves. Freckles, you don't supposed to take a bath in the grass. <laughs> what are you doing? Stand up. Stand up so we can see your back now. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> can you see him? Look at you. You've got dry grass all over you. Come over here. <laughs> yeah, can you see it? <laughs> so, we aren't going out on an excursion today, but we are heading over to Target because Megan wants a gift because she is sick. <laughs> <laughs> she's so spoiled she's not sick she got all four of her wisdom teeth removed yeah uh this morning and she she's being a little uh silly um no uh what what is the word i'm looking for I, medicated high maintenance <laughs> and high maintenance i finally found something for you i can't go in it can i Oh, she's in it. Oh. Yep. So I'll just blow that up, stick you in, and roll you to the doctor. Look, I've got my own doll now. Huh? Yeah, if your hair was a little bit longer, yeah, I think it would. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that, that's more like you. Except your hair is longer in the back than his, and uh, you're a little more gray. Okay. <laughs> no wonder why you're afraid of Hello Kitty. <laughs> so, Megan's not spoiled. No, she's not. We're just getting her a puppy. Neither is his her doll. <laughs> you mean neither is her doll. It's getting front row seat here. Oh. <laughs> her puppy, yes. He has to have front row seating. Yes, dear. <laughs> I'm on camera. You are? Yeah. Here's your batteries that you asked for. Thank you. My remotes are all dead. Here's a candle. Here's a card. Hm. Not feeling well, don't worry, you'll be fixed up in no time. Megan, fix? Fix? What do you mean, fix? It's kind of the puppy dog, and you think he's gonna get his junk removed. <laughs> we love you, love you, mom, love you, Kevin. And we got you a puppy. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. <laughs> you got this whole chipmunk thing going on. There's there's claws in my mouth. It's not my face. I knew it was a little kinky, but I didn't know he was in the spanking. <laughs> He's enjoying this. Yep. Hello, everybody. I'm waiting for you to say hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's time for 
Neighborhood Community Shout Out! Okay, Jenny Morgan, welcome to the neighborhood. She has a GoFundMe account for her daughter, Jasmine. She has a disease which causes her brain to have tumors. And her daughter had wished for a puppy. And they got her a puppy and the puppy got sick. And they were going they were doing the GoFundMe account to raise money to have surgery for the puppy. Well the puppy ended up dying. And now they're raising money to pay for um, the vet bills for the puppy passing away and to get another puppy for Jasmine. So I will put a link to uh, Jenny's channel with the GoFundMe information below if you guys can go and check that out. That would be wonderful. Okay, um, Lucy Owl. Shout out to you. Guys need to go by and check out her channel. Give her a thumbs up. Hit that little red subscribe button. And show her some love. She's got a new channel also. I don't know if it's uh, up yet. Well, I know it's up, but I don't know if there's anything published on it yet. It's called Libby Doll Series. Going to be a pretty good series, you guys. Definitely, I'll need to check that out once it gets going. And uh, we need some prayers. Terry Johnson's brother Doug had carotid artery surgery. So, if everybody could please keep him in your thoughts and prayers, we would all greatly appreciate that. And that's all I have for shout outs. We have my question that I asked yesterday. If you could change your name to anything, what would you change it to? And we had some interesting ones. Bambi S. said she would change her name to Autumn, which I like that. That's a nice name. It's Just My Life California would change her name to Jacqueline. Lucy Owl picked several. Chloe? Uh, Cleo. Cleo, Jaden, Nadine, or Lee? Leah. Leah. Um, they're all pretty cool. Greg Myers said Jack Atlas from Yu-Gi-Oh! Pretty good. Terry Johnson, Caitlin Fitzgerald. Sounds like she just came off the boat from Ireland. And she picked that because Fitzgerald was her grandmother's maiden name. Pretty interesting. What would you change your name to if you could change it to anything? Colonel. So that when I make reservations, it'll be, I think that I'm important. Colonel McLean. Colonel McLean. I don't know what I would change mine to. Um. I kind of got accustomed to being. Here. <laughs> I kind of got accustomed to being called Windy, but I would spell it W-I-N-D-I. So my question for today is in honor of Kevin. <laughs> Why is that? Because of what you have for breakfast. Oh. I would like to know what your go-to breakfast is. We all know what his go-to breakfast is. What is your go-to breakfast? So, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, I guess I asked the hard one last night. Uh, the question was, what does the emblem the university for the movie Urban Legend from 1998 has a Latin motto underneath it. What does it say? And I actually got a couple of different answers, but I know it's Optimus Amicus Fessit, which means the best friend did it. So if you knew Latin, you would know uh, who did the murders at, by the beginning of the movie. 
so just a little inside joke on uh, the writer's part. And those who got it correct is Terry Johnson, Greg Myers, Anya Longley, and Van Viet. Okay, so tonight's question is about 1985 movie called The Stuff. I don't know how many people have actually watched this one. Yeah, have you heard it? It's called The Stuff. A lot of stuff came out in 1985, as you might imagine. A lot of our films. The question is, what was the stuff made of? What did they use on the set for The Stuff? And there's more than one answer. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our other channels and all our other stuff. The stuff. <laughs> and we will see you all Tomorrow. Go ahead and say it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>